Hello again and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a bit of a different video. This is just a video on why, as you can tell by the title actually, why I don't play the Ninja Tower. Um, with very few exceptions, like this time I'm on floor 11 and that's only because I needed the extra few coins to a temple for the other video that came out earlier today. Um, first reason why is because I think the thing is too damn long. I mean, it's 25 floors on the normal and then another, I think, 25 on the impossible. It's 50 levels for, what is it, like four or five days? Like, for me, that's just too long. I think even the seasonal events are only, I think, 60, but you get a month to do those. These are... 50 and you get like five days to do them so no it's in me it's too long uh next reason is the the loot that you get for each level is so fucking shit in my opinion for how difficult the levels are and they are quite difficult with you trying to match those bloody curses over and over and over i just don't think the loot's good enough like one coin and one emblem I, just, I don't think it's good enough for the time that you have to put in to complete it. I don't I don't think it's good enough at all. Um, next up, um, it takes a lot of materials which can quickly become expensive to complete the Ninja Tower. And the people say, oh, you don't have to use materials. No, you don't. But to do that, you need, in my opinion, an unrealistic roster. Like It needs to be so stacked. My roster is not enough, not good enough to get through this without using materials. So it 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 gets expensive on things like um, tornadoes, uh, scrolls, hurricanes, things like that that are not cheap to craft. It gets very expensive on those. But the only saving grace for this is that the heroes are amazing. Unfortunately, you only get a 1% chance of getting a legendary one. I've done God knows how many pulls in this, and I've never gotten a legendary. Uh, a legendary ninja. I So, I for me, the all the other events are usually like 1.3 or 1.4. It usually matches the uh, Hero of the Month. Uh the hero of the month percentage but nope it's worse of course it's worse uh and the final thing and this is the real nail in the coffin for me is that if you make a mistake and you lose a floor um you essentially have to pay to complete the thing you have to pay although it's only 50 gems you still have to pay to complete an event it's the only event that you have to pay to complete if you make a mistake which I think it's just it's disgusting for me. I don't don't agree with it at all, and that's why I don't play it. I never do. I did it the first time, but never again. Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed. There will be some people who agree with me on this. There'll be some people who don't. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you next time.